Hi everybody, welcome back to Survival Sea Lab. My name is Mori Abarandas. Last episode we built this little shanty here, and you know, I'm not totally satisfied with it just yet. Uh, I think I can do better than this. I don't like the roof on it, uh, not as much as I did the first time, and I think we can make it look a little nicer with just a little bit of work and a little bit more wood. I went mining between this episode and last episode, so we got tons of materials now. I got lots of cobblestone, I can make uh, a little more additions to this with cobblestone. Um, I'm gonna collect some more wood, and then we should be okay. So that's gonna be my plan for right now, and then we'll build up this house, and then we'll explore some machines, and get some power going, and, and worry about like making our ores and that kind of thing, uh, all into ingots and that kind of thing. So, anyways, let's get going here and start fixing up this stupid looking house. Alright, so the house is completed! Look at that, it looks so much better than before. I can't believe it. Uh, this is, this is, the roof made a huge difference to it. Just this, that alone would have been enough. But then I added all these little details to it, a little more depth to it with the stairs, and I think it looks real good. So uh, around the side here, I made a flower bed, which adds a little more depth to it as well. Um, put these little poles sticking out, like rafters or something, some type of support beam. Uh, it looks kind of like natural, I guess. And uh, around the side here, I put a little herb garden out here with some uh, tomatoes in it. Yep, tomato crops, so looks pretty good. Uh, nice little herb garden there, maybe get some food for us eventually, which would be great. And then we have uh, the back, Peace Day Resistance. I put the stairs together in a way to make a nice little design. I think it looks pretty good, I don't know. I'm, got, I'm biased though, it is my own work. Heading to the inside, in here, I did a continuation of the beams, the rafters, the supports. I put those on the inside too, so it kind of ties the outside and the inside together. And then also I put in these uh, rafters above the beams too. So it looks like a little more natural, uh, looks a little more like, it breaks things up again. Again, flatness is not going to be good, so having anything that adds a little more personality to it, uh, any kind of like little detail like that, really kind of does tie the room together and, and it looks really nice. So 
Like I said, I'm kind of biased, but I think it turned out really well. So, there's a couple things we need to do in order to build some new machines here. Uh, we need to take our ores here, gold ores, iron ores, we need these doubled, so, and turn it into dusts. So in order to do that, we need to make a Certus Quartz Grindstone. It's the early game method for doubling your ores. Uh, so we have the Certus Quartz that we need, I think. Uh, is there anything else we need? I think it's pretty easy. Um, grindstone. Let's see, grindstone. There we go. Applied energistics grindstone. Needs quartz dust. It needs a wooden gear and some stone and cobblestone. Super easy to make. So that'll let us grind our core ores down and turn them into dust, which will cook into twice the number of ingots as the ore would deliver normally. All right. So after we after we get this the Certus quartz grindstone going we also need a couple more materials we'll need uh, some iron we'll need to cook some copper we'll need to cook some gold we'll need to cook some glass so we'll need to get some sand from somewhere i don't have any sand yet to get the redstone furnace we'll need some glass iron gold copper and we'll also need some clay which i don't actually have any of yet either so we'll have to go on an expedition to find some clay i think uh actually why don't we why don't we go do that right now? Let's go find some clay. It's almost di it's almost dusk here, but let's head out and find some clay. I know there's some there's one piece right over here for sure. Right by the water. Yep. So we have to find some more water areas. That's where clay always spawns. Uh, I need actually we're already we're already halfway there. We need four clay balls to make one brick for the redstone furnace, and that's really it. So let's keep looking around here and see if we can't find some some clay. Uh, I think there's there's got to be some in here. So we have four already. We just need one more clay block and then we'll be all set. I think there's a pond over here that might have some in there. Nope. Well, we get this. We can get this aluminum gravel ore, though. That'll be useful for making some more aluminum. Nice cheap material off the surface here. Nice and easy. Let's grab it. Uh, we'll need that for, for, for mariculture and for Tinker's Construct, so... It's gonna be very useful. Uh, and it's getting dark. I don't want to get caught in the open here, but... Let's see. I think there's gotta be some over here. Anywhere? No luck whatsoever. Hmm... It's a mystery. Hey, what, what? There's a village over here. All right. Cool. Oh, and some clay. Cool. So let's check out that village. Uh, not right now. It's getting too late. Maybe we'll check it out later. Uh, let's just get all the clay we can right now. And then we'll head back to the house. But yeah, it's cool that there's a village this close to us. I didn't even notice it. I must not have explored the island very well. Anyways, I'm going to collect this all and we'll be right back. All right. So I got all the clay. Got all the clay I need. And now I'm going to head back to the house and start cooking it up. I'm not going to cook up all the clay because we'll need some clay for our smeltery for Tinker's Construct once we start, once we start building that. So I'm not going to cook up all of this. I'm just going to cook up what we need for a, a redstone furnace. But I've got priorities here. Got to do the redstone furnace first, and then we can worry about getting a a cool smeltery from Tinker's Construct. All right. So back to the house. Let's take a nap here, and we'll be right back. All right. So before we can start cooking up our stuff and making our advanced machinery, we need to make that Certus Quartz grindstone. So I've got the stone cooking. We'll get everything going here. What do we need for this? We need a couple sticks to make some gears. So one one wooden gear was all we need. We'll need this stone out of here. Give it a second. And come on. Let's just throw the rest of it in there just so we don't use up all the waste of that coal piece that we used in there. But we only need three for right now. All right, cool. And then, uh, so we got that. I think that's everything we need. Just like that. We already got everything we need. So bam and bam. Grindstone. And we'll also need a couple sticks to make a crank, I think it's called. Which is like that. Yes. All right. Cool. So let's pop this down. Where do I want to put this exactly? Hmm. Let's put it. I guess it doesn't matter. Let's just put it over here. And then it's not going to be there very long, anyways. Let's put the crank in it. We do it like this. And now we can throw our ores in there. Throw the ores in the top part. Like this. And then we click the crank. And hold down the right mouse button. And and it'll spin and spin and spin slowly grinding up all of our stone all of our ores into dust which is doubling so we took one ore turned it into two dust and then we can cook that dust into two ingots so that's going to be pretty good we're, we're just only thing that's costing us is just elbow grease basically so it's not automated but uh it's it's obviously more efficient to do machinery but if you have the manpower if you have the elbow grease you can just sit here on the mouse button and get as much dust as you want really so i'm going to do exactly that i think i'm just going to leave the mouse button down here for a little while uh, put something heavy on the mouse. You have to be careful because you can break this crank if you keep clicking it when there's nothing in it. So I got to keep kind of an eye on it. But uh, we'll we'll grind up all this dust and then we'll be right back with all of our new ingots.
Okay, so our ores are just about finished cooking, it looks like. Uh, I think we have every, pretty much everything we need. 30 is enough to get started on this. Uh, there's a little bit left in there, a little bit left for this. That's okay, though. A couple lead dust left. But all in all, not too shabby. So let's toss this dust into here, this remaining dust. I think we'll have everything we need to build some cool stuff here now. So what do we need to do? Um, we need to make a steam dynamo, and that's going to be like this. Steam dynamo right there. So we need copper gears, copper ingots, and a redstone transmission coil. So we need redstone. Did I grab some of that, hopefully? I did. Perfect. All right, let's grab all that stuff. We'll need cobblestone for gears, sticks. Make some more of, but that's okay. So I'll make a couple more sticks. And so we'll make those gears first. Two of those. So we need to go wood gear and then stone gear. Oops. And then copper gear. All right. That should be enough copper left for us because we need to go like this. Oh, we need the transmission coil too. Okay, so transmission coil is like so. All right, transmission coil. And then what else do we need? To do it. That's it. We got the steam dynamo going. Okay, so what we'll need for this is to put water in it and coal in it, and it will make us power. It makes us RF power, which is similar to uh, MJ power in earlier versions of Feed the Beast and other packs. Uh, thermal expansion used changed their uh, their power structure. It's it's still the same. It's still the same conversion rate. I think redstone flux and its RF is uh, the same as Minecraft jewels, but um, just a different name. So anything that uses Minecraft jewels will use redstone flux as well. So it can generate uh, redstone flux from water and solid fuel. So we need to do um, now. We need something to power. So we need to make our redstone furnace. All right, and for this we need bricks, we need a machine frame. That's gonna require gold, iron, and glass. Oh, I don't have any glass yet. Let's cook some of that up. Uh, I do have some sand though, so let's cook that up. Uh, do I have my gold on me? I do. Okay, so we can get started on this at least. We'll need those bricks. So I need two bricks. We'll need some more copper gears, which we just did. Hopefully I have enough sticks. Oh god. Oh I do okay, okay, okay. There we go. I was gonna say I might not have enough wood for this. That would be disappointing. Of all the things we could be missing. Alright, we made two stone gear uh, wood gears. We need two stone gears now. We need two copper gears now. Alright, and we have two copper gears. Okay, and then we need a redstone reception coil, which is going to be redstone and gold this time. Reception coil. We need a machine frame. So we'll need a little bit of glass for that. Uh, we've got enough for it. So let's, oops, wrong box. Uh, click, nope, not going to work. I have to make this first. One of those, and now we should be able to click this. Boom, and boom. All right, cool. So what we can do is... Uh, let's, where do we want to put this stuff? Let's put my power right here. Like that. And then we will put water into it. And then it'll have water sitting in it. We could get another bucket, I suppose. Oh, we also need to build a wrench, a crescent hammer in this game. I think it's, uh, in thermal expansion, it's called a crescent hammer. It basically works like a wrench from any other, any other technical mod pack you'll see. Uh, so we need to build one of those, too. For that, we need tin. Did I make any of tin? Where's my tin? Where's my tin at? thought I made some. I really did. Could have sworn I made some. Ah, there it is. Tin. All right, so we need iron and tin for a crescent hammer, I think. It's like this. Is that it? Is this it? There it is. Okay, like that. And then um, let's throw our other bucket into here. 
we can then uh, power this redstone furnace using... Oh, you know what we should do? We should make some cable quick. Let's just do that quick. I think I have enough lead to make some leadstone... Redstone energy conduit. That's what I'm looking for. Redstone, glass, and lead. And we have all that. Let's get the glass out of here, and we'll be good. Okay, so we don't need much of this, um, this leadstone energy conduit right now, because we're going to keep things mostly pretty much close together, so... Uh, I don't, I'm not going to make all of that into leadstone. So six will be plenty. That's more than we need. Uh, we can even, maybe we can look in one of these too. Oh, this is pretty cheap to make. We need a redstone energy cell frame. It's black, a block of redstone and lead ingots and glass. That's actually pretty doable too. We could make that too. That'll let us store the power. Um, might be worthwhile to do that. So we'll have the red, leadstone energy conduit coming off of it like, which way we want to do this? Um, let's coming off of it from here. So we'll flip this around and we'll have it going into. Hmm, did I do this wrong? No, I didn't. I'm okay. And then we'll have our redstone furnace next to it. So we'll put it um, like this. And then we'll put another piece of cable there, and then I'll go to the, uh, the, oh, I want to mix those up, actually, I want to switch those around, I think. So redstone furnace, we'll have a pulverizer here, and then it'll be, uh, really good. So, let's, what's a pulverizer gonna cost us? Pulverizer. So, copper, piston, machine frame. Alright, cool. Uh, how's this going? Good enough? Good enough. Alright, and now we have our stone gears into copper gears. And that should do it. Yes, so we got our pulverizer. So what that means now is we can dump our ores, copper ore specifically, into here. It'll get pulverized. It'll export to the right, and this will import from the left, and we will have cooked up products. Uh, the only thing we need now is some fuel for the thing here, the dynamo. So let's put in, I don't want to put in all my fuel, because this thing kind of, right now it's not going to store any energy for us, because we don't have the, the redstone energy cell yet, the leadstone energy cell rather, but let's put in, let's put in just like, let's just put in 16. That should be plenty. It's probably going to use up the water before it uses up the uh, coal here, I think. So it's going to start filling with steam, and then it's going to start generating RF, but you don't see that because it's actually going right into these machines here. So it's going to be pretty slow at first because this is uh, this speeds up as you get more fuel in it, more uh, energy into it. So it's going to go pretty slow at, at this outset here. Uh, so for instance, you can see it's using 12 RF per tick. You can run at a maximum of 40. So it's only going about less than half speed right now. But as it gets more in there, it's going to speed up. As you can see now, it's ramping up using 17 now, uh, and storing more RF too. So it wants to store RF and it wants to use it up a little bit slower rate. Once it gets full and has a steady supply of RF, it'll use it up as fast as it can. This, same thing. So this is going at 20 full, full pace right now. And, uh, what we want to do now is actually set up a, uh, a uh, chest over here, I think. Do I, have no, do I not have any more wood? Ah, there we go. Plenty of wood. I was gonna say, it's a little odd. Be out of wood now. All right, set up a chest over here for this to dump uh, cooked things into. So that way the system keeps on going here. And you know what? Actually, we'll make one more thing here. We'll make a. Uh, we'll make another. Uh, another another chest here and make a hopper. And that hopper, we can just throw all of our ores into, like so, and then we can we'll, uh, we'll grab our ores and throw it all in there. So let's grab all this we can. Anything that we can pulverize, we'll throw in there. So we don't want to pulverize gold in there. We want uh, aluminum, aluminum gravel ore in there. I think it might. I think it might. In certain feed the beast packs, it won't, but in thinking this one, it will. All right, so our. Uh, Dynamo is dynamoing. The water is getting used up pretty quickly, though. So we want to do something for that, for sure. Uh, 
very shortly here. But in the meantime, I think we should be pretty good for right now. Pulverizer not pulverizing anything? Why not? Why is it not pulverizing? Oh, it's not set to input. That's why. Uh, it's gonna. It's trying to output into the um, top. Put input into the top. There we go. And this is gonna work. Gravel ore does work in there. So I think that the aluminum ore will work in there too. And actually, our thing's filled up here. I don't think this yellow red ore needs to go in there quite yet because I'm not sure what we're gonna do with that yet. Uh, cadmium, same thing. And gold ore can definitely go in. Ferrous ore. Yeah, all the rest of this stuff is pretty good. Um, so I'm gonna throw this stuff that we don't want to macerate into there. I'll put my I'll put all my ingots in here. This was because this is where they're all gonna end up anyways. So it'll be kind of our done ingot chest. I'll drop my sword. Do I have any more in here that I'm gonna pull out? No, we're good. Cool. Yep. Yeah, good. All right. So that's that's pretty much everything I want to accomplish today. I think. Um. Next episode, what we're going to be doing, I'm going to be looking at uh, Miraculture power also. Uh, so we're going to be looking at turbines, I think is what we're going to do next episode. And we'll also figure out a solution for water for this thing, so it's infinite, uh, using an aqueous accumulator. And then, oh, we have to go explore that village as well. So that'll be next episode. Thank you so much for joining me once again for Survival Sea Lab. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.